See, that's what I'm talking about, about bikes. The, the, this is why I do it the way I do it. I want to capture this feeling, this emotion, this reaction to how a bike feels. It's not just the specs. It's not, you know, it, it's, oh God, it's the emotion that you get from a bike. And it, when it speaks to you, it speaks to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we having fun today? 2024 KTM 990 Duke. I have been dying to try this bike. Finally get a chance. And we're going to experience it together and find out if $12,500, if this bike is worth that. Because who knows? Maybe it rocks. But let's take a look at the 2024 KTM 990 Duke. Get a, a little walk around and then take this bike on the road and just get a feel for it and see if this bike can put a smile on this old man's face. So 947cc parallel twin, 123 brake horsepower at 9,500 RPMs, 76 foot pounds of torque at 6,750 RPMs. This engine is putting out roughly the same horsepower as the Street Triple RS at 128, uh, a little bit more than the regular Street Triple R, which the 765 Triple, I love that bike. I'm wondering how this one's gonna feel. I'm super excited to try this bike because it kind of hits that sweet spot of horsepower and torque, you know, that just, it just feels super perfect at that horsepower and torque number. It's not necessary. You don't need that much, but come on. Somebody tell me in the comments, you're gonna complain about having more horsepower. I'd love to hear that. <laughs> Let's check the front. So up front, we do have an inverted, fully adjustable front suspension, 120, 70, 17 front tire, dual 310 millimeter discs, and two four and four piston calipers, um, steel braided brake lines, it, and I do love the fact that they've taken the, the 1390, the front, the headlight design. I love the fact that that's on this bike too. This design, I really like it quite a bit. I'd love to get more time, especially maybe a dark, you know, to see how the headlight actually works, you know, at, in the dark, but that's gonna take folks like you subscribing and liking the videos and sharing and sharing your comments so we can get more people to see these bikes and we can get these bikes for longer so we can actually deep dive the bike a little bit more, which I'd love to do. So in the back, we do have a single rear shock that is also fully adjustable. It's a 180, 50, 17 rear tire, 240 millimeter brake disc and a single piston caliper, steel braided brake line. Um, it's an interesting exhaust, but most people will take that off, I'm sure. Let's get a seat height check and then get a sound check and see if it needs an exhaust. So I'm five foot nine inches tall. I weigh 225 pounds. This bike claims a seat height of 32.5 inches and a wet weight of 394. So pretty light, honestly. Um, and the seat height's not super tall. It does look a little bit shorter uh, at current. There's a little bit of a hill right here, but let's stand it up. Um, falls on my feet. Not bad. The seat is not plush but not super stiff either it's kind of right in the middle a little bit of padding there it'd be interesting to, it'll be interesting to see how it feels when we're riding um semi-aggressive you know but not super aggressive uh feet up you know, feet it kind of lines it lines up really well honestly i like this quite a bit uh you do have an adjustable brake lever an adjustable clutch lever so that's great. Let's get a sound check. Not bad. Let's go for a ride. Let's see what this is like on the road. God, this is feels so light. Jesus. Shifter's a little clunky. Um, not terrible, just a little clunky. 
you know, I've it, it's it's hit or miss on court shifters with parallel twins. Sometimes you'll find them where they're well done, and other times not so much. It's a bi-directional quick shifter. It does have some nice pops too as you're deselling. Gets up to speed just fine. Oh wow. You know, I've said this before. In 15 minutes of riding a bike, you'll know if you like it or not. As far as acceleration, power, how this bike feels in general, just in three minutes, I'm already falling in love with it. And for the price tag, 12,500 bucks, it's right there in line with its competition. You don't get any more balance than that. You don't get any more balance than that. Oh, wow. God damn. It does have cruise control, which is nice. I'm trying to figure out how to turn it on, but a little toggle switch on the bottom to actually hit the plus, push out of here, to turn it on. Uh, a lot of buttons here, so not exactly flawless or not exactly the easiest thing to get your fingers in the right spot. I keep missing the uh, turn signal. I do like the plus on the bottom now that I know that it's there to set my cruise. Mirrors are very good. Very smooth, not a lot of vibration in the hands, especially at this RPM range. I think the only thing I would like is the quick shifter to be a little bit more smooth. Other than that, not even a lot of vibration in the foot pegs. I mean, it's got more than enough power. Don't get me wrong, more than enough power. Especially with the weight. I mean, good lord. This does it this legitimately feels like it weighs nothing I mean I love the street triple seven six five it just felt just perfect to me that's why it's my favorite bike the 2024 version I've ridden now of older versions and yeah the refinement in the newest the latest the 2024 is phenomenal this the refinement in the quick shifter is not nowhere is nowhere near as good as the street trip three two one it gets really light <laughs> Uh, front wheel came up just a little bit, but I got the wheelie control set up for very low. Man, this bike is plenty quick. Plenty quick. With a better rider on it, Jesus, you're in, you're in three second category here as far as speed. A really good rider get this thing damn near into the twos. It's just so light. That's the crazy part about this bike. It's just so freaking light. God damn. But good God, the comfort. Uh, stand up. Yeah, you can. You're pitched forward, so it's not built for a stand up ride. The one thing I do like is the fact that it does have cruise because then I can sit back 
and just ride with my body position just for a brief period of time it'll just allow me to get comfortable you know for a little bit you know relax Jesus don't worry about flipping u-turns Also, don't worry about corners either. Curves, nothing. This bike doesn't feel like it weighs anything. It doesn't feel like, it just feels like you're gliding on the road. Oh my God. This is exceptional. Absolutely flipping exceptional. flips over it just glides see I'm bypassing the quick shifter because I don't like the quick shifter that much I like everything else though aren't even really really big curves and I'm not even taking them that fast Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow, I love this thing. No lie, this bike is wonderful. The only thing I don't like is a quick shifter. <laughs> Let's look at it like this all the bikes that you can buy for you know around this price you know plus or minus you know 10 percent whatever you do have the street triple seven six five rs which is the most comparable version to this um the regular street triple is a little bit down on power than this i think it's like 118 or something something like that if i'm wrong i'll put it on the screen but there are a few bikes you can buy for this money but mm, it's a tight race i would die to get the chance to take one of these and the street triple seven six five and put them right up next to each other and just see which one is actually going to win because oh man this is a really really good bike Really good bike. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 2024 KTM 990 Duke. Oh, this is the quick shifter. I don't like. I I just it's clunky. It's not very precise. So that's not my favorite thing. However, this engine is getting phenomenal. It's, it really is. It is so good. It's balanced. It's comfortable. It's, oh God. I'm on 1A, 1B right now between the Street Triple 765, which 
The 765R is my favorite bike just because of the price point. It's under 10K. If I had to choose between the RS and this, I'd probably still choose the RS just because it does have a better quick shifter. But it's close. And I wouldn't fault any single person for this for buying this bike at all. I'm very close to buying it myself. Wow, this is really good. Everybody, you got it. I mean, I, just, I tell everybody this. You have to experience all bikes anyway. But, man, you got to try one of these. These are, this is so good. Oh. Special thanks to Starve Rock KTM for letting me take this out for, you know, just a little bit and trying it. Oh, it's exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, share. And as always, stay safe and enjoy the ride.